Hi, this is Mr. Adam. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hopscotch math game. So the first thing you're going to do is push plus and then go to text. In text, you can type in the title of the game. And once I have my title, I can drag it up to the top. And then I click plus and I add uh, one multiple of five. For example, I can type in five. I can add another number, let's say 11. So this is just one example of a multiple of five and a non-multiple of five. So after I've done that, I click on add code, and then I go across to when the game starts. So this is just a bit of creativity. When the game starts, I want to set the size of the number five, and I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna make it 200%. So when I push play, that number is a little bit bigger. So you can play around with some creative stuff to see what you can do with the numbers, how they look and how they appear on screen. So let's get into the functionality. So I push C code because I've already added a code. I can now push C code. I go to when is tapped. So when is tapped at the moment, it says when the iPad's tapped. I don't want the five to do anything when the iPad is tapped. So I'm gonna say when self is tapped, which means when the number five is tapped, what does it do? So I'm gonna say set text to correct, and I'm gonna change that color to a green color. I can also give a sound, so I'm going to go to set sound, I'm going to give it a check mark, and I'm going to give it no wait time. So when I push play and I tap the 5, a correct will happen and a little sound of the check mark will come up. So that's quite easy now, I can go to that whole bar around the top, I can go copy, I can tap on my number 11 and I can tap it again and say paste. And it will paste in the exact same code that I had for 5. Now I want to go through and edit this. So I want it to say, when self is tapped, set text to incorrect and set the color to red and make the sound of a check mark into a cross now mm. and leave it at that zero wait time. Now when I push play, you can see when I tap on five, it says correct. When mm. I tap on 11, it says incorrect. So let's go through and add some gaming aspects. So I'm going to choose a character now and I'm choosing the penguin. It's winter theme at the moment and I need a control panel. So what I'm going to do is add text and choose my emoji keyboard. And I'm going to search for the arrows within the emoji keyboard. So the first one I choose is the across arrow. And I use the grids to make everything nice and neat in my game. So I'm gonna choose four arrows across, up, back, and down. And I'm gonna line them up within the hopscotch grid on the edit page. Okay, so now that I've got my control pad, I need to add a code to the character in order for it to move when the buttons are pressed. So in the character, I say add code, and I say when pressed this time. So when the forward arrow is pressed, what do I want the penguin to do? I want the penguin to move forward by 10. I can go through and say when is pressed again, and this time I'm gonna say the back arrow. When the back arrow is pressed, what do I want the penguin to do? I want it to move forward by negative 10. So that way, when one arrow is pressed, it moves forward. When the other arrow is pressed, it moves forward by negative 10, which creates the illusion of forward and back. Now, up and down. So I can say when is pressed again, and I want to say when the up arrow is pressed, I want to change the Y axis. Now, you know in math that Y axis is up and down. So when the up arrow is pressed, I want it to change the Y axis by 10. When the down arrow is pressed, I want to change the Y axis by negative 10, and this is all within the penguin character. So now when I push play, each of the four buttons controls the penguin. So now I want the penguin to interact with the two numbers. At the moment, five and 11 say when self is tapped. I wanna change when self is tapped to a collision. So I go down to collisions and I say bumps. So I want to say when the penguin bumps self. And that way when the penguin goes over the 11, it does that code. I can do the same for five. I can say C code and then change that is pressed to collision bumps and say when the penguin bumps self. Now when I control my penguin and it bumps those two numbers, it will change the text to what I've set mm -hmm. it to. So that's the basics of the game in Hopscotch. Your task is to create that little basic game and then design it to be a little bit more exciting. Add more numbers, add more colors, add more sounds. See if you can make a challenging math game using that concept of what you just saw on the screen. Good luck and have fun.